Oh, welcome back everyone, it's Stray Fay here with another episode of Rune Factory Frontier. <sighs> and today is spring 19th of year 2. Oh, Becky was born. <laughs> Who the heck is Becky? <laughs> uh, it is a Sante Coquille Festival, a new festival in year 2. Hosted by Bianca, she orders, I cook. Well, we live to serve the great Bianca, apparently. Okie doke, that'll probably be at the public square a little bit later. Let's do some farm chores first. There's stuff we should water, it's another beautiful sunny day. My fields are pretty much all repaired. Oh, we got, I guess we got some spots that are lagging behind. Let's 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 water this. And yeah, I should be a short festival. It's like it's listed as kind of like a a competition episode where <laughs> episode a competition festival where you're supposed to select the correct dishes and then serve them to Bianca. <laughs> I'm not sure what the prizes are. It's probably nothing that. You're gonna need in the long run. Although, who knows? Who knows with this game? You're cute. Do I wanna suck some things? I have to suck. There seems like a lot of Roonies on my farm that are just begging to be sucked up with this. I'm guessing the people are probably gonna come out around 9 ish. Probably have some things to say about this festival. What to do in the meantime? Can I go to Green Ruins? <laughs> So trying to get that wind crystal, <laughs> that high level wind crystal. I I should just make a high level weapon. Like the Rooney use isn't. The like the, the use reduction isn't gonna be like that amazing, but it's like co I come this far, like I might as well like make it the best it can be. All right, probably like sucked up too many Roonies. Oh, well, they'll, they'll come back tomorrow. Who the heck is Be- is Becky a duck? <laughs> is that- Okay, Becky is a duck. <laughs> Got Peggy and Becky. Uh, I guess it's enough ducks for now. I have like, a supply of like, four eggs. With the supply of four milk. That- that'll last me. Ooh. Might be able to harvest some creatures. Should I check my dragons? Actually, can I breed you? Can I can I have not have bred you before? Ooh, just there. got to one happy face. I can make more of you if I want. Hey there. Hey there. Do, 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 do. Hey there. Hey there, little guys. Little vicious dragons. Let me get your butt gems or butt ore. I don't know. It <laughs> just reminds me of like. Bears be able to stay up. Like, I got, I got a diamond. <laughs> it was like his friend. He said, like, his friend was so tense that if, if he stuck, like, a lump of coal up his butt, the pressure would be so great that it would turn into a diamond. <laughs> his friend was just, like, so high strung. That's what I like to think these dragons are just super high strung creatures, just turning lumps of coal on their butt into gems. Alright, what else? Did I get that emerald? And... Looks like some copper. Alright, well... <laughs> can't complain! Right, I can make a baby dragon if I want. Where am I gonna name it? Uh... Uh... I oh don't know. Let me see what default name they give me. Go-Go. Go-Go the... Yeah, like, be a go-go dancer? No, dragon, you cannot be a go-go dancer. Well, maybe they can be. Um, uh, what should I name it? Oh, I'm gonna name it after another viewer, I think. Uh, I can't fit your whole name, but... I'll name it after Coraline. She's the person who was the first to warn me when my videos were going all screwy. So, so I knew to fix them, so... Even though you were the bearer of bad news, I do appreciate that you told me the bad news so I could fix it. <laughs> Let me coral, that's a pretty name. I got a clutch of dragons there. 
do. Alright, let's go grab my horse and go on with the day. Uh, yes, my horses are in here. Let's get... You Cornette soon Dillis will be out of his egg and I can get rid of you and <laughs> just ride around Dillis. <laughs> Let's go. Right, we'll go to green ones first and we'll hit some rocks and by the time I'm done with that, people will be out and about. Ooh, do I want to do any rooney management here? Actually, it doesn't. <laughs> There's a lot of grass here. How much grass can I... No, that's another question. How much grass can I even harvest here? Harvest? Acquire? Maybe I should check the clock tower a little later. Kinda <laughs> seems happy. Let's touch it. Alright, a little stuffy. Uh, I was like, what's oh, shiny? No, it's a... Uh, it's the silly, uh, unknown seed here. Okay, of course I missed. <laughs> I don't think I need to plop anything there. I could to get some of the stuff out faster. Actually, I probably should have. I have some cherry grass down here now that I remember. Eh, let's not backtrack. It'll be for another time. At this point, I probably don't even need the upgrades. <laughs> Unless uh, the squid boss just destroys me again. I think with the upgrades we have, we should... We should be good. I just am trying to get like a better weapon or two. <laughs> to take with me. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Pretty sure if I have like force element, that I'll just like cover all my bases, and then I just want Gugnir because I feel like the spears need <laughs> the spears need some like representation here. And it's like why not just make the best spear ever? A spear of legendary proportions. Nothing. Nothing. That's gonna be a bad luck day, I think, for gems or crystals. Oh, man. Hopefully I sound all right. I've been, <laughs> I've been, I had like an allergy attack the other day, and my sinuses are just like ravaged from that. I hate allergy attacks. I'm like, body stop. <laughs> the cat dander's not the enemy. <laughs> and then your body's just like, no, it's the enemy. We must tear everything asunder. And then you just feel awful. I like slept. Came home from work. I just like slept the whole day. I like took. A nap. Nap Take a nap. I only like woke up to like move my laundry around and then I like went back to sleep. <laughs> and then you just feel you just feel yucky the next day. And that hollow feeling of your sinuses just being totally wrecked and then I also have like muscle aches. My body decided it wanted to be sick. But luckily it goes away in like a day. Alright, it is past nine. Who's outside? Got girls, right? Lots of coils. Where's Marco? Oh, is Marco participating in the festival? You might be participating. He's not hanging out with Candy. Good morning, Mist. It's so warm. Will you be joining today's Santa Coquille Festival, Raguna? I will. Well, I might lose. I'm not gonna save Scummit. <laughs> so I, I probably will lose if I don't recognize a lot of the cooking, which I haven't cooked a lot of things. Thank you. I love baked sweet potato. I love the texture and how sweet it is. Like I mean, I made a lot of berry jam, but that doesn't make me a good cook. <laughs> good morning. Bianca's holding some kind of festival. Aren't you gonna? Aren't you going, Raguna? I will after I chat with a few people. Go around. Well, how may I, help you today? I bet you if I participate in the festival, they'll like just mention how I won or lost. Good morning. Are you going to go join the Santa Coquille Festival? It's a festival where you're supposed to pick out the right dishes. I can't imagine what it's like. I mean, 
just, it's just... How may I help you today? It sounds like it's just an identification game. Can, like, can you recognize the food sprite? Like, I brought some Roonies while I'm here. What do you want? I will ask for a friendship day. Yes, please. I am fine. Right, I bet usually Turner and Rita are at the beach. I can talk to them. Unless they're participating in the festival as well, then they, they'll be at the public square. Is anybody here? Oh, just Rita! Turner's participating in the festival! <laughs> Good morning, Raguna! Oh, you're not going to participate in the Santa Coquille Festival? If you are, make sure you beat my Turner. Go get coffee. <laughs> Cocky, if you happens to win. Coffee, I want a new coffee. I want some coffee. I don't need it. I don't need it. Maybe tomorrow. I think tomorrow will be a coffee day. <laughs> Anybody here? Cross? Oh, cross, my love. Do I have any warrior medals? I don't think I do. Surely you love something else. <laughs> It's you. Hello. Also, Good morning. I forgot to turn off my speakers, so I better do that. I hope nothing was playing in the background. <laughs> I think I had like, I, I have like beautiful music for relaxing instead in Legend of Zelda. It's just like instrumental Zelda music. I was like, oh, this is kind of nice. Came to huh. chat. The girl next door prepared so much cooking. I wonder what kind of event is going on. Tabitha was cooking up a storm yesterday. I'll go this way. Let's see, what was I looking for? I was looking for alternative gifts for Cross other than Warrior Medals. Uh, I could actually probably make him some egg gifts. He likes boiled eggs, sunny side up, stuff like that. Those are some good alternatives. Good morning. Especially since I'm not really using my eggs for anything else. It's getting warmer now. I can feel the breath of life all around me. Bianca's festival is going to revolve around food. Please be sure that you don't overeat. Good morning! There's a festival today. Maybe I should go. I wonder if Minerva's here. I didn't, mm, I'm not sure where Minerva hangs out. She might actually hang out at the beach or she's at the festival grounds because her sister's there. Oh, loot! I can actually buy some new things from you! It's so lively. I love it when it's like this. Are you gonna go see Tabitha? What would you like? I would like some furniture. Um, ooh, she doesn't have a new painting for sale yet. Uh, we could buy an elegant curtain, though, for 10,000 gold. Oh, I guess we'll replace the smart curtain. <laughs> so, bye-bye blue curtains. They didn't last long. The elegant curtain is for the house interior. It's perfect for changing up the mood of your room. So you go to an elegant curtain, right? Yes, please. Alrighty. I'll have your stuff delivered to your house. Thank you very much. I didn't cost that much out of my wallet. Um, other than that... Oops. Yeah, I have to wait for him to have a new painting for sale, and I have everything else, so... Thanks for the business. I think the elegant curtain is the last curtain I can buy. <laughs> I think it's like a triplet pair. I'll have to see what color it is. Oh, Eric wasn't at that corner. So Eric's probably participating. Do, do, do. Eric is super competitive, so I wonder I wonder how he's gonna try to wreck the competition. Good morning. You seem lively so early. Raguna, how are you gonna go to the festival today? I'll pass. If it was a drink tasting festival, I'd be the first one there. But you're not the one drinking. You wouldn't be the one drinking. You'd, you're, you'd be the one serving the drinks. In this in this case for this festival, right? That's how it works. Yeah, Ganesha just wants to get drunk. You sure are up early. The weather is so nice. Respecting the sun is common among all cultures. Today is the Santa Coquille festival. After much training, I can finally pronounce her name. Good job, Azuki. Me and you both. Good morning. It's getting much warmer now. Today is the Santa Coquille Festival. 
Will you be joining in it, Raguna? Yes. Hopefully I'm not too late. <laughs> I'm like, just like busy talking to everyone. It's sunny right now, so you should buy some seeds while you're here. My long face. It's a festival, so you should try to enjoy it. Alright, wait, I think there's some girls down here. Oh, Annette's right here. <laughs> Morning! The weather is so nice. Say, are you gonna join in the Santa Coquille Festival, Raguna? Good luck! You're just gonna stare at that map. Uh Cinnamon is over here. Morning. Up. Oh. I wonder if Selfie is participating in the festival for some reason. She's not in the she's not in the town square. I'm or, sleepy every day. Or that little plaza area. Raguna, are you gonna join the Santa Coquille Festival? I plan on doing so. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Uh no one's in this corner. Alright, all right. it's probably like what Stella. Brodick would hang out here usually, but he's not here because he's he ran away. He bravely ran away. Oh, Stella's not here, so Stella might be participating. And I don't think Bianca's gonna be here. Nope, Bianca and Tabitha are not hanging out there. And we might have some mountain people like Kano over here. Oh, yeah, Kano's over here for some reason. <laughs> Good morning. Old man in the woods. Today is a Santa Coquille festival. Will you be joining, Raguna? If I was a little younger, I could eat five servings. Old age can certainly be taxing on your body. Um, the Santa Coquille festival isn't an eating contest. Oh, everyone thinks it's an eating contest. <laughs> what? Wait, I do that. <laughs> My chronic illness. Excuse me, but this conversation is over. Uh, okay, old man. I, I'll probably do that when I'm older. <laughs> Every time I'm wrong, I'll just be like, uh, my senility. I don't know. Alright, bro, up there. I hope I DJ up here. No one usually hangs out at the lake on this day. Except for the whale. <laughs> That's right, I have to go all the way over here to do any whale stuff. Yeah, I might go to bed early. <laughs> Meh. I usually skip Whale Island stuff on the weekend. It's not worth the walk. Even though I would be able to get some, like, rocks and junk. <laughs> Okie doke. Let us go. See who is at the festival grounds. Seems like a lot of people are missing from like Chow and so. Should be a popular place. Bonnet seems very happy. I should probably dismiss you for this. I mean, it's probably gonna auto dismiss you anyway, so I'll just return you to the barn. If I need you, I'll just warp back. Hey, the weather is so nice, Ooh, but the sun is way too bright. Oh right! I was supposed to be one of the race of those closest to the spirits, right? You're mentioning this now, <laughs> of all the days. <laughs> okay. Okay, selfie. All right, what's what's up with Iris? Yes. Well, I found a book about them, so I put it on the bookshelf. Oh really? Thank you. I'll have to look for it later. Don't mention it. Thank Laura since she's the one who asked me to look for it. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, Laura was treating Iris, so. Earth the selfie. Bianca <laughs> forced me to join her Santa Coquille festival. But if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna join, I might as, <laughs> might as well go all out. I used her. I mean, she, she did... She did own all the cookbooks at some point, so she probably knows how all the cooking looks like. Before she sold them to me. Today's a Santa Coquille festival where you get to eat Tabitha's cooking. Maybe I should join. I don't know if you're the one who's gonna be eaten, Hello. kiddo. Raguna, are you going to participate in today's Santa Coquilla festival? I will. Bianca went through a lot to plan for this festival. I have to acknowledge her hard work by giving it my all. I wonder if I have to talk to Tabitha or Bianca to start the festival. 
Hi! Raguna, you'll be joining too, right? I can't lose to you as the innkeeper. Maybe I should give you a gift. Oh, I should give me a blue shoot. Oops. I think it's your birthday coming up, actually. I should get you your favorite. Sorry! S sorry! Hey, young man! It's getting warmer now. Young man, are you going to participate in the Bianca Festival? I'm still thinking about it. Why are you here? Okay. Who should I talk to? <laughs> oh. Are you thinking about participating in the Santa Coquille Festival? Of course, I will. Great attitude. Do you want to hear the rules? Uh, yes please. The rules are simple. You just have to bring the dish I want from the tr given choices. Points are added for each dish you bring, and the one with the most points wins. Would you like me to explain the rules one more time? Um, I'm gone. I'm alright. <laughs> I'm probably gonna lose. What do you want? Uh, I see... An apple? <laughs> Pancakes? Alright, then let's begin the Saint Coquille Festival! Oh, you, you pronounce it Saint. <laughs> Let's see, I'd like an appetizer to start. Um... Anything could be an appetizer if you try hard enough. <laughs> now listen, bring me a PB&J. Um, it's the one that looks like Doriaki, isn't it? 60 minutes left. Pick up. There you go. I'll try it right away. Yum 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 yum. <laughs> Miss Bianca has finished one plate. One singular plate. Hmm? That's correct. Not bad. I did it. I picked out the Doriaki. <laughs> Next will be soup. Um, oh, oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, oatmeal is soup. <laughs> I guess it's in the pot category. That's why we, well, we should know what oatmeal looks like. We've given it to Tabitha so many times. Probably the one that's in the bowl. Bring me an oatmeal! Um... Um... This one. The bland looking one. I'll try it right away. Yeah, just slurp down that oatmeal. Miss Bianca has finished two plates. Next will be fish. Oh god. Oh no. A sun squid. Okay. We can work with that. <laughs> Bring me a sun squid. Uh, okay. So it's not a fish. Oh no. 50 minutes. <laughs> I'm getting hungry just watching this, Annette. I wonder if Miss Bianca won't gain weight after eating so much. Uh, that's rainbow. Dumb. Mm, this one. <laughs> I'll try it right away. Miss Bianca has finished three plates. Uh oh. Tastes a bit odd for sun squid. Oh no, is that one the sun squid? The one that I thought was rainbow? Wait a minute. This is sun squid fry. Oh. Are your eyes working alright? <laughs> told you to bring sun squid. I heard. <laughs> if you heard what I told you, then you'd do it right. Oh no. Wait, just sun squid? I'll d hang in there. Keep it up, you're doing great. No, I'm not. <laughs> just get rid of this one. It's the only one that's not cooked. I'll try it right away. Um. <laughs> Miss Bianca has finished four plates. Do not try this at home. Do not eat raw fish that hasn't been prepared properly. That's correct. Not bad. Okay. Well, I just had fish, so I'd like to refresh my mouth before the main dish. Uh, listen, bring me a mochi. Okay, well, we've seen mochi before. Uh, da, da, it's this, it has to be this one. That, <laughs> it's like the only thing I recognize. <laughs> I'll try it right away. Chomp. Miss Bianca's finished five plates. Finally, time for the main dish. Bring me a gratin. 
Um, I, I'm gonna base this off the shape. I know it's not... Okay, it's not this. This is like chestnut rice. This is new mochi. That's mochi, so this is a grat. And I recognize the shape of the bowl. Okay, do it now! Here's a secret technique I taught you! What technique? You never had one. <laughs> I actually like the little quips behind, behind the scenes. I'll try it right away. Miss Bianca has finished six plates. Alright, I did one mistake. That's correct. Not bad. I like having something light, like vegetables after the main dish. I eat so much. Listen, bring me a turnip roast. Um, it's the only thing that's like cooked here. Obviously not the flour. Let's do the one that looks like a roasted turnip. I'll try it right away. Crunch. Miss Bianca has finished seven plates. That's correct. Not bad. Next is dessert. Naturally. You haven't prepared it yet. How slow. Oh no. Bring me an orange jam. Okay, I'm guessing it's the orange jam like thing. And not the berry jam. I'll try it right away. Hmm. Miss Bianca has finished eight plates. That's correct. Not bad. Who has just for jam? <laughs> After dessert is fruit. Listen, bring me an apple. Oh, imagine how bad you'd be if I gave her the onion or the garlic. <laughs> All right, an apple, an apple. It's over here. Twenty minutes. Oh no, it can't be. That's a legendary dish, apple. <laughs> Old man, do you know? <laughs> do you know it? <laughs> what? It's just an apple. <laughs> Not even prepared or anything. I'll try it right away. Chomp. Miss Miyaka has finished nine plates. That's correct. Not bad. Next. Hmm. Ah, yes. I'd like something to drink. Bring me a tomato juice. I gotta hurry. <laughs> oh no, tomato. Okay, I'm gonna guess it's the one without the straw. The straw would probably be like some fruit smoothie thing. Maybe this one. I'll try it right away. Oogle. Miss Bianca has finished ten plates. That's correct. Not bad. You did it! Miss today's meal will end with this tomato juice as the final course. Why? <laughs> Master Raguna, you have been excellent today. Wait, Tabitha. I've just gained some appetite. I won't allow you, <laughs> you to end- let this end. <laughs> but, miss, the rules state. Should I have done more mistakes? Oh no. We still have some time, so I'm changing the rules. Tabitha, bring me seconds. Well then, Raguna, I'd like to begin with an appetizer. What? Oh no. <laughs> Bring me a carbonara! Is she just gonna keep going until, like, I lose? Run out of time? Carbonara? Carbonara? Spaghetti? Spaghetti? There we go. I'll try it right away. Miss Bianca has finished 11 plates. That's correct. Not bad. Next will be soup. I'm just repeating. Bring me a spinach rice. <laughs> ah, yes! <laughs> A soup. Oh, what is this? Is this green? Green one, right? Green is spinach. Ten minutes left. Raguna, you'll need to pick up your pace. Just a little more. Keep it up. Eat it. <laughs> I'll try it right away. Oh yeah, you slurp that. Yes, yeah, slurp that spinach rice. It's a little bit watered down. Miss Bianca's finished twelve plates. Next will be fish. Oh no, that's the worst category. Bring me a sun squid. <laughs> well, I failed it once, so let's not pick up the fry. Let's pick up the raw fish this time. I'll try it right away. Yum. Miss Bianca's finished 13 plates. Do not try this at home. Do not eat the raw fish. That's correct. Not bad. Well, I just had fish, so I'd like to refresh my mouth before the main dish. Bring me a sugar yam. Oh. Oh, this looks like candied yam to me, but 
I'll take I'll grab this one. <laughs> it's probably not it. I'll try it right away. Spiaka has finished 14 plates. Nope, it's not it. it. Tastes a bit odd for sugared yam. Wait a minute, this is steamed tater. Are your eyes working all right? Is it close enough? I told you to bring sugar yam. If you heard what I told you, then do it right. All right, maybe my first instinct was correct. This one looks like candy yam. Stop what you're doing. Okay. Unless it's the popcorn-looking thing. Great work, Master Raguna. <sighs> All right, what place did I get? I did Here two mistakes. Here are the results of this year's Saint Coquille Festival. Danny, congratulations! You you won. How, oh, Danny? You did it! Yeah! Five points? Are you kidding me? I guess I should commend you for not running away. Oh. Never mind, Daddy. Uh, are you serious? We're gonna this time. Uh oh, did I get second place? I must have got second place. Oh, I was so close. You have ranked third by acquiring 12 points. Perhaps you'll do better next time. Second place was Selfie with 13 points. You're not as good as Tabitha, but not bad. D Aw, I was so sure I'd win too. Where's Eric with his competitiveness? And finally, the winner. Who's left? <laughs> I like to just turn around and say Tabitha. Eric, congratulations! You acquired 21 points! A clear victory indeed! I would have had to, like, not even, like, do any dawdling. I would have just had to, like, pick it up, serve, pick it up, serve. As expected, this is a result of my daily training. As a reward for your victory, Eric will get the privilege of partaking, partaking in a premium main dish. A premium main- okay, you just get food. Well, well, this sure looks delicious. It's not easy being as popular as I am. All this is at last. You get to merely look on as Eric enjoys this great dish. Man, it must be so good. D Miss, that, that's a bit harsh. I guess I have no choice. But to listen to Tabitha, here's some dessert for all of you. High grade sorbet set. Do I get to pick it all up? <laughs> all right, rich people food. <gasps> Selfie, you are rich people. <laughs> also, Miss Bianca has finished 14 plates. It's a new record. This concludes this year's Santa Coquille Festival. We shall all be looking forward to next year's. Bye. That was fun. That was funny. <laughs> all these weird festivals are. A big hit. All right, it looks like I can just pick up everything. Got pumpkin cream, ice cream, pudding, boiled egg. Oh yes, my favorite dessert, butter. I could probably get this boiled egg across. It's all level one stuff. Hmm. I wonder if I should use it. <laughs> should I use it or just sell it? Because it is taking up a lot of bag space. <laughs> Alright. And everyone will probably tell me how I like oh, eh, I lost. Good day to you. Did you enjoy the Santa Coquille Festival? Well, how was my Santa Coquille Festival? I'll do it again next year, so be sure you are there. Okay. Well, this is it was, it was fun. That Santa Coquille Festival is hard, but really fun. Hey Marco, I didn't see you there. Didn't see you participating. Were you just watching? That was so close. I'll definitely win it next year. You didn't even, like... You didn't even place. You weren't even on the board. Well, let's just say that I was was feeling off today. Please don't tell Rita. I uh, shall, like... Throw you over the coals for it. Ha 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 ha! Did you see me shine during the Bianca Festival? Yes, we sure did, Eric. We sure did. All right. Well, well. I guess I'll talk to Selfie, and then we'll go on my on our merry way. That was so close. I'll be sure to win it next year. Okie 
Duke. Oh, well, speaking of selfie, I should probably go to the library and look for the book that she found about Iris. I can actually probably do that. We well, could do that tomorrow. Hmm. Or today. Or any day. I don't know. <laughs> just, let's, just, let's just go to the library and at least read up on it. I think after we read up about it, we have to go to Kano. And then... And then something else. We'll, we'll see. We'll see uh, what leads Kano gives us. Alright. Let's look through this mess. <laughs> Bless this mess. Uh, it's probably a new book. Oh, I guess I'll go upstairs. Uh, and I... Uh, second shelf, maybe? Oh, I haven't read this book yet. The Vampire Tribe. Those closest to the spirits once inhabited the trampoline area. They were able to converse with the spirits through their spirit song. Even with special traits such as the inability to enter holy places, the ability to share minds with the person they drink blood from, and being nocturnal, they could still have a child with a normal person. Why, why give them- okay, give that distinction of, of all things. Most of their descendants are of mixed blood now, and only a few special ones have inherited the spirit song. The next volume will cover rituals. Okay, let's search this third shelf. Oh, I haven't read this book yet. The Vampire Tribe. Among the rituals is one called the Blessings from Around. This is particularly interesting. In it, the leader of the ritual brings a personal item, and those around it bless it. In case of two or more leaders, each leader brings an item of equal value, then trades after the blessings finish. It is said that the purpose of this ritual was to demonstrate the leader's connection to the spirits to the people around. After trading blessed items, they offered up a prayer to the spirits. If the spirits respond, their wish will come true. At least, that is the belief. Without any known pure-blood descendants of those closest to the spirits, there is no way of telling if this ritual is merely symbolic or indeed granted one a wish come true. Okay. So you read the Vampire Tribe Part 1 and 2. So let's give us information that we just gleaned from Kano and see what he can do about it. <laughs> he seems to just conjure magic items out of his pocket. Alright, let me actually check the runies as well while we're nearby the clock tower. I didn't see Minerva here. Hmm, interesting. Where is Minerva? <laughs> She said she was participating, right? <laughs> I didn't see her at the festival grounds. She might be in some weird corner that I'm not accustomed to. Let me see. Minerva. So she hangs out at the church district. She, she might be like by the tree or something. Let's see, did you get the distribution graph? 39, so I need to get 29. 29 grass. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Do Yeah, I wanna chat up Minerva. It's been forever since we've seen her. area in the church district that I haven't explored is this area. <laughs> oh, they're not here. It's just a really weird big area that's only used for some events. Hmm. Yeah, unless she's at some weird like corner of the world. I don't see her. Are you at the graveyard? <laughs> Not at the graveyard! <laughs> oh, I forgot if uh, she said like where she was gonna hang out. First I thought she was gonna hang out with these ladies here, but... Hmm. 
Oh well, maybe I'll check the beach again. The beach is like another big area where <laughs> I haven't really explored. Grab my horse again. I will grab you so I can do things a little bit faster. All right, Kanat, let's go. Let's actually talk to Kano and then I'll go back. I'll go backtrack. Let's go, Kanat. Cross, are you here? No, he's not. Yeah, he actually moves. He actually moves later on in the day. I'll give him this egg later on. Is there anything that Cross doesn't like? He just likes curry powder and flour. Alright. Just give him all the food. Hello. Kano, about how we can get Iris back to normal. Did you find out something? Yes. And I divulge that information. Alright. Raguna, do exactly what I tell you. First, take a certain object from each Iris. Sure. Then take those things around to each villager and have them bless it. Bless? Yes, yeah, simply put, they just need to pray for it. Come back to me when you're done. I'll take care of the rest. Alright, then let me go get something from each of them. That's... Alright, let's... I don't think we can get in their room right now, so... <laughs> now will be a time to, to kill some time. Clippy, 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 let's see what's around. Lots, lots of grass to pick. <laughs> Anyone in the corners that I missed? There's a lot of Roonies here. <laughs> so many things in the air, jeez. Alright, well, I think I missed Minerva somewhere. Unless she's in her room. Which, maybe we can spot her in her room in the evening? Alright, well, anywho, let's suck up some Roonies. How many? Uh, let it be 4 plus 20. Let's see, 4 minus 29 would be 25, so. We'll get a, we'll get a hefty amount. Alright, let's start the sucking. One at a time. <laughs> Start sucking one thing at a time. Come I didn't mean to talk to you, Candy. Never mind. Come by any time. Come by any time. Okay, just say, say no. Like, do I want to talk to you? No. Any grass. Uh, <laughs> what's been going on lately? Nothing much. Um, been saving a lot of money. Yes, I I don't merely just waste all my money on amiibos. <laughs> I save saved a bunch of money. Um, really happy about investing a little bit more in like my retirement account. Now that I feel like I've gotten to a certain age where I, I should be thinking about that. I like, I have like a little, somewhat of a plan where like, all right, I reach like a certain certain threshold and like in my savings, and then like, I'll drain like this much of it to like go into like a little retirement account, and like try to invest in some things, just so I could gain some like passive income over the years. So it's like, eventually I will retire. I won't work until I just drop. Hopefully I will get a rest. Oh yeah. Because otherwise, I feel like 
Yeah, putting it in a savings account is good. Like, yes, you should have some savings. But if your money's not doing anything, like, I'm not getting anything off interest. I get, like, peanuts. <laughs> it just gets cents from, like, interest from, like, savings, so... It's good to keep it in savings to, like, not lose it. But, like, I also want my money to kind of passively work for me. So I don't have to work forever. Oh, yeah. I'll just keep doing that. Save a little bit more, invest a little bit more, and then... I think that there's actually, like, a limit to how much you could put in a retirement account per year. Or else the IRS goes after you. <laughs> so, I'm like... I'll either reach that limit or... It'll become a new tax year and I can invest, invest more. I don't know, maybe if I invest too much money and I can't do it anymore, maybe I'll, maybe I'll finally get a new computer. <laughs> Still toying with the idea of getting, like, a specific recording laptop where I never update it, but it's, like, has all the new power. Or try to get a desktop to do all the jobs. I'm just, I'm just worried that... I'm actually done collecting this stuff. I'm, I'm just worried that it's gonna screw up like my my desktop. There's gonna be some update and the video is just magically not gonna encode properly like ever again. I think it's just I think it's just a bad build. My computer just it's not built correctly. <laughs> okay, the seven so. <laughs> I can go see Iris. I'm assuming... I'm assuming she's available, even though it's a festival day. Um... Which side I go into? It's all open, luckily. <laughs> hello, I turn. Just <laughs> hello, Clarice. Okay, it's open. Is Minerva here? Hello. Nope, no one's this in. Guess I missed her. Iris, do you have a pair of something? If I take that and get everyone in the village to bless it, you might go back to normal. Really? But I'm worried about how much of a blessing we can receive. Because <clears throat> we haven't been here long. <laughs> it's like I get all groggy like I'm actually sick. <laughs> like the Iris is sick. It's alright. Everyone is worried about you. Thank you, then take this. You got silver ring. I have to talk to the other Iris. Take this with you. This is the first item that we exchanged when you were separated. I believe these will be the most fitting. Got the gold ring. Alright, so we got a pair of items. Silver ring. That one Iris gave the other Iris. Let's get everyone to bless it. Then a gold ring. A golden ring that one Iris gave the other Iris. Let's get everyone to bless it. Alright. Um, I'm not sure if I'll do everyone today, or... Or maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll start with the people at the end. It must be Raguna. Greetings, you may enter. Alright, I don't think you have to bless both of them. I think you just have to show one of them. In my country, tools that are used wholeheartedly can embody souls. Seems like the emotions in this ring are so powerful that it has gained a soul as well. There, I put my prayers into it. Okay, good, you gave it back to me. I'm worried. I don't think I have to do both. Hmm. It would kind of suck if I had to do both. Hmm. I'll just, I'll just like, go around. We'll have one less person to work at the bar, but I have to respect what Iris wants. Put all my heart into this. Hmm. Come in! It's 
for Iris? I'll gladly help. Iris is part of our family now. Yeah, I guess I could check this. <laughs> Let me just double check. Like, I don't have to give you both, do I? Giving silver ring probably won't mean anything. Oh, okay. Good. I only have to show them one item. I have to pray for it? Is that good enough? I hope Iris will get better soon. Alright, so I gave it to everyone at the inn. Maybe I should do everyone at, like, this area, business district, and maybe tomorrow I'll do, like, the other, the other districts. Knock, knock! The door's open! Why don't you come in? Upstairs. Doing your abacus. So I just have to pray for it? That sounds simple enough. It's not like I would refuse even if it cost money. Really? Is that it? I don't know if I did it right, but I put a lot of my heart into it. Receive the blessing. I don't know if it matters if I like do one wearing your more than the other. Oh, Danny, you're here. What the heck? <laughs> Working after hours. Just have to pray for it. Fine, I'll do it. Here you go. I'm just not good when it comes to these things. Hope I don't have to do no one as well. <laughs> Imagine Brodick and Minerva had to be there. Like, they're not even, like, permanent residents. <laughs> At least Nolan comes during the week. <laughs> like, somewhat consistently. You guys both cooking? So Iris will get better if I pray for it. Iris, get well soon so you can yell at my mom for drinking too much. <laughs> oh. That's a pretty ring. I can feel the emotions of, it, of the owner just by looking at it. I'll hammer in a lot of emotions so I can work even harder from now on. Here you go. Receive the blessing. Maybe I should pick up the golden ring too. Gotta give equal blessings. Or else... Iris Blanche will feel left out. Oh, Nolan. Maybe Nolan will be here <laughs> for some reason. Are you at the bathhouse, theory? Nope, okay. It makes sense that he's not here today. I'll have to remember to come back for him if he needs to bless it. Oh, so Iris is going to go back to being one person? I really liked it when they would come to my bathhouse together. Would you tell her to keep coming to my bathhouse even after she returns to normal? Okay. few more people. Maybe I'll- maybe I should do the church district as well. <laughs> There's a lot of people there. And then I just have to worry about like mist and farm people. I'll do that tomorrow. Alright, let's just do all the- the bunch of people here. Dun dun dun. Selfie, you're here? Good. I'll be glad to join, too. I never even read about how two people can become one before. Fact is stranger than fiction. It can be so true sometimes. Actually, I think I, I should probably save Kano for last. <laughs> he might be the last person I should, I should show the blessing to. Let's see, I'll do the church people. 
Even though you think if Iris can't enter the church, it's like this, like, you think your possessions would be revulsed by it too? Repulsed? Revulsed? I don't know. Come on in, it's open. Um, okay, you guys are both here. Bless it! I may be an in inexperienced as a sister, but I will bless it with all my heart. There you go. I have to bless this sure thing. Iris is part of our village, after all. Now take it with you. I've finished blessing it. Hmm, maybe I'll do the silver one a few times. <laughs> Kinda cute that Laura's just sitting by the dinner table. It's a big dinner table. Now they look at it. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll save Kano for last, just cause... He's the person that I need to talk to to commence the event. Uh, I guess I could talk to the Goyles. I don't forget that I haven't given it to Kano yet. But if it's even like, if he's the last person I need to show it to, then yes, like I should show it to him. It, I guess it's just good to see the girls before they start like running around all over the place. And I'm, I'll give you a silver one. Do, 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 do. Dun, dun, dun. I hope Iris will get better soon. Here, now the ring is full of my emotions. Enter. Emotions can amplify the effects of magic. If people cast their emotions into the spell, then its power is more potent. Good luck. Weird dark ritual here. <laughs> That's what I feel like we're doing at this point. <laughs> it's a vampire ritual. Okay. Let's warp back. Guess we'll talk to Mist. Uh -huh. Oh, Mist and Annette. <laughs> They're both- they both live in the same place. Alright, so then tomorrow all we have to do is talk to the farm people. And then Kano, and then maybe Nolan, if that's a requirement as well. It's open! So I just have to pray for it? I wish for a good harvest of turnips this year. No, not like that. <laughs> I know, I know. Here you go. <laughs> Making a joke? Sure want me to do it? I'm not exactly part of the village, you know. Not, you're, you live here now. <laughs> but I'm glad that you came to me. Here you go. I put my heart and soul into it. Alright. No, no one else lives here. Just you girls. Although, Annette, if you live here, you should probably decorate. <laughs> this place seems awfully dark. Seems like Miss area is a little bit more cheery. I could probably read your diary if I wanted to. Okie doke. I think that's good. Yeah, I'll finish this up in the, in the next episode. How about that? So we get started on a new day. Love. Today was mostly about the Santa Coquille Festival. Um, other than that, do I need anything? All this dessert. <laughs> all these all these things in my bag. Um, okay, I don't need to make any more yam for you. I still need to chat with Bianca, unfortunately. Everyone else is good. Might need to spam gift some of you people. <laughs> okay. I think we're good though. 
Oh, right, we should probably check, check out the curtains that we just got, right? All right, here are my elegant curtains. Okay, so they're purple. Purple with some gold trim here and there. Ah, uh, yes. Purple used to, like, signify royalty. And, of course, gold being, like, gold being a rare material. Okay. I think I'm good. I feel like I'm missing something. Eh, we'll just- we'll just save for now. Keep it- keep it shortish. Alright, save complete. Hope you guys had a relaxing time, and I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, bye-bye.